A king had seven sons. A long time ago, six sons were children of one mother. The remaining one child was from another mother. The king named the boy Malek Muhammad. One night the king was sleeping comfortably in his palace. He saw a wonderful dream in his sleep. The dream is, a golden cage hanging over the king's head. A beautiful parrot is sitting in the cage. After waking up, the king was worried. I was wondering what the meaning of this golden cage or the meaning of that parrot. Whatever the meaning, the king fell in love with that parrot. Ever since he woke up, he started thinking about how he got the parrot and the golden cage. On the other hand, the king had been thinking for some time to hand over the responsibility of kingship to one of his sons so that in his absence there would be no quarrels between them about kingship. After seeing the dream, the king thought, it is good. This time there was an opportunity to test all seven children. Among the seven children, the one who passes the test will be entrusted with the responsibility of kingship. So the king sent his seven sons. When all the children arrived, the king said to them, You are all my children. I see you all as equals. I do not understand which of you to hand over the responsibility of this kingdom. That's why I will give you all a task. I will replace him who will perform that job properly. Everyone wanted to know, What is the work? The king said, You will bring me a parrot sitting in a golden cage. Whoever can bring it will be my next king. The six brothers of the same wife stood up on hearing the king's words and went out together in search of the golden cage and the parrot. They went far and wide. Searched everywhere in cities, towns, villages. Even left their own country and went to another country. He has no idea how many people have asked for the path or the search for the golden cage and the parrot but they were of no use. Finally they had to return empty-handed. Returned and said to the king, O king, we have traveled all over the world, but we have not found what you are looking for. I was saying that the six boys came back and told the king about their impossibility. And the king thought to himself, Have I given such a difficult task to the boys that it is impossible for them to do? In the midst of such thoughts, Malik Muhammad stood up and said, O oh my revered father, if you allow me, I would like to go in search of that parrot and the golden cage. The king said, All six of them are older than you. Even if they went together, they could not bring the parrot and the golden cage, and what will you do alone? Malik Muhammad said, God willing, I can bring. The king said, Go right when you want to go. If you can bring it, then I will hand over the kingdom to you. Malik Muhammad prepared for the trip and took some gems with him. Then he came out with a swift horse. The eldest of six brothers, he was very jealous. He called his remaining five brothers and said, I know that Malik Muhammad can bring parrots and cages of gold. So let's go behind him. It cannot be said if he sits with our ace. The five brothers agreed and all mounted the horse. Going to a secluded desert, Malik reached Muhammad. Six brothers killed Malik Muhammad by dismounting from his horse. When Malik fell from his horse and fell to the ground, Manamukhtame placed the jeweled saddle beside his head to provide a burial shroud in case of death. Then all the six brothers mounted their horses and ran away quickly so that no one could see them. Malik Muhammad remained lying on the ground till evening. He saw Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu in his dream. Ali radiallahu anhu said to him, O young man, wake up, fasten your waist well. Malik didn't even have the strength to growl until now. But after dreaming he stood like a healthy normal person. In the dream, he stood facing Hazrat with a look of surprise in his eyes. Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu said to him, From now on, whenever you face any problem, say, Ya Allah. Your problem will be solved.
Because of this, Ali radiallahu anhu disappeared. Malik Muhammad woke up. He saw that there was no pain in his body. He is perfectly healthy. Looked here and there. He saw that his horse and saddle were all right. Prashant mounted the horse with firm conviction in his heart and galloped briskly.